in celebration of their 25th silver wedding anniversary, the young Mr. James Mitchell and an even younger Mrs. Christine Mitchell have invited all of us as very honored guests to behold as they, with all of their hearts, greatly glorify God by again standing in His holy presence and renewing their sacred marriage vows to Him and to each other. For God tells us in chapter 12, verse 4, an excellent wife is the crown of her husband. So as a crown would be carried to a king upon a velvet pillow, Chris will now be escorted by her father once again as a crown, an excellent wife to her husband, Jim. Would you all please rise? He's the reason that they're standing here before us. Psalm 115, verse 1 says, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Marriage itself was God's idea. He tells us that he himself established, instituted, and ordained marriage at the beginning of human history. For it is written in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, our Lord Jesus said, So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man separate. Now these two here are so filled with joy. His joy. The joy of Jesus Christ today because of who he is and what he is doing in their lives, their life and their hearts. Here's what he's doing. Jesus created companionship to be the essence of marriage. And these two are companions. Now, we're all invited here, but the guest of honor here today is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the guest of honor. The end of this service, I'm going to invite this man to kiss his wife and uh, their desire today is to have a time of worship because worship literally means to kiss the face of God just as holy, just as sacred right now as 25 years ago, to stand in the presence of Jesus Christ and bow to Him again and to each other. So this is a beautiful, holy, sacred moment. 
Jim, I have a scripture for you about your Chris. Proverbs 31, verse 10 and 11 says, Who can find a virtuous wife? For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. Jim, God has given you one command in Scripture in Ephesians 5.25. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. So you have been given, and I know you know, a great treasure. And Jesus calls you to lay down your life for Chris with the kind of love he sacrificially died on the cross for us as his church. So Jim... Will you once again promise before God, before me, his minister, and before these, your loved ones and friends, that throughout the remainder of your life, your preeminent allegiance will belong to your Lord Jesus Christ, and your first earthly love will belong to your wife, Chris. Chris, will you once again promise before God, before me, his minister, and before these, your loved ones and friends, that throughout the remainder of your life, your preeminent allegiance will belong to your Lord Jesus Christ, and your first earthly love will belong to your husband, Jim. Jim, will you recommit yourself to this woman, whom you hold by the hand, to be your wedded wife, to live after God's plan for marriage, promising to love her, honor, cherish, keep her, and to be her faithful and true husband so long as you both shall live. Chris, will you recommit yourself to this man who you hold by the hand to be your wedded husband, to live after God's plan for marriage, promising to love him, honor, cherish, and keep him, vowing to submit to him as unto Jesus, and to be his true and faithful wife so long as you both shall live. Jim and Chris, before God and man, you have received your vows and received communion. You have recommitted yourselves to live together in love and worship. Because of this, I take great pleasure in proclaiming you once again to be a husband and wife. You may kiss Ladies and gentlemen, I consider it a privilege to again present to you on this a celebration of their 25th silver wedding anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. James Mitchell.